Približilo se kraljevstvo Božije. The kingdom of God is at hand. Rejoice and believe gospel. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, if your brother does something wrong, go and have it out with him alone, between your two selves. If he listens to you, you have won back your brother. If he does not listen, take one or two others along with you. The evidence of two or three witnesses is required to sustain any charge. But if he refuses to listen to these, report it to the community. And if he refuses to listen to the community, treat him like a pagan or a tax collector. I tell you solemnly, whatever you bind on earth shall be considered bound in heaven. Whatever you lose on earth shall be considered loosed in heaven. I tell you solemnly once again, if two of you on earth agree to ask anything at all, it will be granted to you by my Father in heaven. For where two or three meet in my name, I shall be there with them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Bracci sestre, kako čusmo, današnje nam prvo čitanje. Brothers and sisters, as we heard this evening gospel speaks about something very important brotherly admonition but before we speak of a brotherly admonition which uh, is admonition that is directed to those who are close to us it is very important that we keep in mind first to examine our own behavior brotherly admonition supposes that first you examine your own heart and that you work on your continuous conversion. Let us recall Jesus' words. First take the beam out of your eye and then you will see uh, well how to take the splinter from the eye of your brother. That means that we always first have to start with ourselves. Who does not take care about one's own uh, behavior? Who does not recognize recognize oneself as being a sinner before God, his own conscience and others, admonition is not going to uh, bear fruit. Uh, uh, personal admonition, uh, recognition that I am sinful uh, is a condition for us to be able with love uh, to do the same with our fellow brothers. We have to be ready to accept uh, admonition when others are doing it as well. Only then, when we become aware that each one of us is in need of admonition, is in uh, need of conversion, then we can uh, start thinking about uh, brotherly admonition, the first reading and gospel tonight are speaking about. The first reading, which is taken from the book of the prophet Ezekiel, we see that uh, uh, what is emphasized is admonition and uh, the importance of admonition of those uh, who are going astray. We are responsible not only for ourselves, but also for the salvation of our fellow men. These words, I believe, are still echoing in our ears and our hearts. Each one of us is called to care about fellow men and as well accept when they are admonishing us. Now the question is, what is the way, best way for our admonition to bear fruit? How to behave when it comes to that? 
Jesus speaks about it in gospel. It is very important to follow the gradation in admonition Jesus is talking about. Otherwise, it may bear bad fruits. This is why it is important to mention at the beginning uh, of our speech uh, about admonishing is never to tr always to try to avoid to put uh, your fellow men to shame but to do it with love and out of love this is why Jesus says if you see that somebody is making a mistake don't attack that person immediately in front of everybody else but first call that person aside and with love easily try to say to that person what wrong uh, that person is doing and if that person doesn't listen then invite somebody else to come with you so Jesus uh, differentiates two levels of admonition. First one is private, the second one is public. But we have always to take care about these two levels, otherwise our admonishing may go wrong way and even uh, wound a verse that other person instead of uh, helping him or her. Uh, um, uh, usually what happens in the first place when we hear somebody being wrong uh, we like to call that person in front of everybody else and we say all that is on our mind without choosing words and our admonishing then causes even more wounds and difficulties makes the situation worse because we are humiliating that person in front of everybody else and the other case when we see that somebody is making a mistake and sinning, we don't say anything to that person, but behind uh, the back of that person, we speak uh, of uh, that person's sins and mistakes and guilt. We are bad-mouthing the person, so then we do commit two sins, the sin of omitting uh, admonition and the second one, uh, bad-mouthing. So whenever it comes to admonishing our fellow men, it is important to start with that what Jesus says, to admonish somebody in private. Speak alone with that person. Only in that way we can help that person. Also, it is important to judge well the moment in which we are. Because sometimes uh, with our admonishing another person, we can even make situation more difficult. When we see in family, for example, that uh, somebody is in need of being admonished, we have to take uh, uh, care how and when to do it. We notice that somebody in our family went astray from a prayer, confession, a holy mass. It is important in these moments to speak with that per member of family. But it is also very important not to bother that person far too much uh, with our admonition because you can cause opposite uh, effect. It is important to speak, to try to explain, uh, emphasize that what we think is important, and then let God and that person to take it from there. That person has freedom. God is giving us freedom, but always with his Holy Spirit, he acts in our lives and does miracles, both in our lives and lives of our fellow men. This is why it is important that we know where are our limitations. The admonishing is not just uh, 
in words, but first of all in our own example. It is important with our own example to show how one should do. Often it may be more efficient than our words, because deeds always speak more than words. Since we think about brotherly admonition, let us mention that uh, the founder of my congregation, St. Francis, wrote several admonitions in his scriptures. There are 28 admonitions that uh, he directed uh, to his first brothers. The first one is titled About the Body of Christ body of the Lord. He is reminding his first brothers how important is the Holy Eucharist. Uh, he's emphasizing the importance of our thanksgiving to God for being present in the uh, Holy Eucharist. In, uh, uh, he also writes Jesus humbles himself every day like when he from a heavenly throne uh, descended into the womb of Mary in the same way he comes to us uh, every day under the species of bread and in the hands of priests uh, he descends on, uh, on the altar as you showed uh, the apostles uh, in your body, now you are showing yourself uh, in the Holy Communion. They, looking at uh, him, believe that he is uh, God. Now, looking at the wine of bread uh, with the eyes of our heart, spiritual eyes, we see and we believe that it is truly the body and blood of our Lord Jesus. And in this way, our Lord forever remains with his believers. I am with you till the end of the world, are his words. This is what St. Francis wrote to his first brothers. This admonition written by St. Francis is reminding us of great presence, uh, present that the Lord is giving us his presence in the sacraments, especially in the Holy Mass. Sometimes when we are preparing ourselves for Mass, we forget what a great uh, grace is awaiting for us. Let us therefore with heart truly thank God for this boundless gift of his love. He is giving us his presence, strength, love and peace. On the other side, this admonition written by St. Francis reminds us as well on the second part of the Gospel we have heard this evening uh, uh, on a common prayer. Uh, I remind you on words that Jesus said, if two of you on earth agree to ask anything at all, it will be granted to you by my Father in heaven. Through that, St. Francis being founded on gospel, he is bringing to our awareness the fact that uh, the evangelist placed these uh, uh, words uh, immediately after the words on admonition because we are to learn that prayer should always come before as well as after admonishing. We may be in a situation that to see somebody who is in need of being admonished, but for different reasons we can't do it. But what is always left to us is prayer. Prayer for that person. Prayer is that gift that nobody can take away from us. Everything else can be taken away from us, but that prayer and encounter with God nobody can take away from us. That is our true comfort and strength along the path of life. 
Our Heavenly Mother is constantly reminding us on the importance and strength of prayer. We should come before and after everything that we do. We are always called to give our thanksgiving to the Lord. Together with Blessed Mother gathered around the Lord, let us thank Him for His boundless love. Let us ask Him to guide our lives. May our lives be always an inspiration uh, to others to inherit Him in His love. Amen. <laughs>